Hello everybody, Jekyll here. So today I'm tackling another engine that people voted for in a Twitter poll. And no, this is not one that you're thinking about. I, I mean it is, but I know that's solely due to the fact that you've probably read the title of the video and saw the thumbnail. So, without further ado, let's get Holy Lightning in this bitch. Star Seraph, or Holy Lightning as they are known in the OCG, are level 4 light fairy monsters used by Durba or Duman in the dub from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal anime. They were first introduced in the Judgment of the Light booster set in August 2013. The engine, though, was first released in World Super superstars in April 2015, with the core of the engine being reprinted in dual power five years later. The engine saw a fair amount of competitive play over the years, mostly in 2015. The most noteworthy variants were Star Set of Shadol and Star Set of Settlements. However, the greatest success the engine had being used in Gadgets and Cyber Angels in 2016, where it took first place in two separate LLDSs. The engine is quite small in terms of cards used. It only uses two. Star Sort of Scepter, which is a big, long, insert penis joke, and Star Sort of Sovereignty. So let's go over each of those cards real quick. This long stick of happiness searches out a Star Sort of Monster, and an Xyz Monster summoning using it as one of its free materials can destroy one card on the field and draw a card afterwards. I really need to sit down for this one. This monster is summoned itself when another Star Sort of Monster is summoned, after which it allows the player to draw a card. This monster can be used as well. Not too many people do so though. Its ability to give the Xyz Monster an effect to draw a card is quite decent. The build of the engine is extremely straightforward. Three copies of Star Set of Scepter and three copies of Star Set of Sovereignty. One can also of course use Star Set of Scale as additional Star Set of Monster. One of the biggest pros of this engine is its size. It's rather small, but also it allows for some pretty decent draw power and spot removal. Also easily accessible rank 4 plays or link plays are quite desirable. One of the greatest cons of this engine is the fact that most of the time it will use the player's normal sum for the turn. It requires to have both part of the engine in head to actually work. Also, a thing to be remembered, Star Set of Chair can only be used as Xyz material for a monster that requires at least three materials. So no summoning of a Utopia with this one. Due to the engine being rank 4 focused, that sort of deck is the best pick for it to use. It can also be a decent pick for a fairy deck. That would be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Should you find this one helpful or informative? Please remember to share, comment and subscribe and like and whatever do the YouTube thing. See you later today for the next episode of Deck Wars.